Hey y'all, nice short reaction for you today. Oh, this is your K-pop auntie Carly. And this is IN's cover. I uh, wrote down what that was, uh, the Korean was supposedly about. Um, the Google Translate is consolation. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if there is a better translation for uh, the title of the song. Uh, originally by Kwon Jinya. Uh, all right, and if you're wondering when I will get to Hey Day, hopefully tomorrow. Um, speaking of Google Translate, uh, there's not a lyrics version up yet by a um, translation page that I am familiar with. Uh, well, I'm familiar with a couple of ones that are up, but um, I generally stay away from them because y'all have told me that um, there's rap <laughs> in the song, Bang Chan in particular, and when there's rap, not that they aren't really, like, lyrical and putting all sorts of puns into their vocal performances, but rap in particular usually needs to be looked at by someone who is familiar with the uh, language and capable of doing some better translation work because there's usually idioms and puns and all sorts of references in there that just don't get translated properly if it's just a quick translation job. So all that to say that I ha I, I, I want to try to sit, wait another day and see if a uh, lyrics version comes up with somebody that I am more familiar with and that have a little bit more trust that they will um, not have done a quick slash job of the translation and have me squinting at the lyrics being like, ah, I think I know what that means. But on covers, I, I generally don't take a look at the lyrics because it's not their song. <laughs> it's, you know, it's more, I think of it more along the lines of like, this is the kind of song that like Ian, if he were a solo guy, he, he would probably want to, did I turn this on? He would probably, I did, want to be singing these kinds of songs. Like this is his niche. This is the kind of stuff that he loves. So I want to, I just want to hear what Ian really enjoys. Plus, Ian, I would say, is the voice that has grown on me the most in Stray Kids. You know, his I've said it before, like, he he's the one who literally grew up the most in Stray Kids. He's the Machne, he's the one who, he was kind of on the outer edges of puberty, probably. <laughs> so, his voice has really become solid in the last couple of years, where it's like, I think it's, like, he's found his place. And I'm really enjoying his voice lately. Alright, where's my volume at? Let's go here. And, oh, uh, do I have any updates? Uh, we'll see, uh, if I wind up living alone for a while here. <laughs> Me and my husband are fine. <laughs> they, uh, but, uh, Hurricane Fiona is, uh, coming, and a local paramedic company has asked my husband to come on with them. They have a contract with, it's, uh, AMR, American Medical Response. They're the largest, uh, they're also GMR, Global Medical Response. They're the largest, uh, emergency response in the nation, so they get a contract with FEMA, you know, Federal Emergency, blah, 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 and, um, they are the one who get the contract to move people, move emergency workers, paramedics around, to the places where, where they are needed the most, like when hurricanes hit. Um, and especially now that my husband has his flight paramedic certificate, they asked him to come on for the contract of going of any preparations that may be needed for uh, Fiona. And he's thinking, yeah, I might really want to do that because they pay him extraordinarily well because you get paid 24-7, because you're on call 24-7. You have work hours, but you're also 24-7 on call for a month. And that... If you think of 24-7 working hours for a month, overtime racks up really fast. <laughs> really fast. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see. That's my update. What else? I have pickers coming today. Antique pickers. So we'll see if I get rid of a bunch of my uh, grandmother's uh, stuff to individuals who will be dispersing it all around the nation. These guys are from Wyoming, which is like more than a day's drive from here. And they're just in Michigan with a trailer, staying in hotels, driving around, grabbing stuff. So yeah, they're exactly the kind of people I would want to give my grandmother's antiques to because they are going to find the, they're going to be one of the best people <laughs> to 
put the antiques into the hands of collectors who will cherish them. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully they take out a lot of stuff and spread it all around the nation. All right, I-N. I-N. Let's hear you, buddy. Okay, I, I figured it was going to be a slower song. I was talking as he started. Yeah, his voice is definitely awesome <laughs> these days. He's got that nice low, the mid range, um, mid range vocals. I, my words. Uh, going on and it's it's really cool. I'm really enjoying his voice. It is really solid That was beautiful. I actually need to hear that again. Hang on just the hum I could hum like that. Jeez. <laughs> say that I really like the uh, breathy quality when he kind of like pulls it in. It feels like he pulls it in, you know. He, he's out here with his vocals and then he's like, oh, that's all I can think of. He pulls it in and it's kind of like this breathy, breathless, breath, breathless quality to the singing and it sounds so good on his voice. Right there. Like, Yeah, like, like I said, he has gotten, like, not that, I'm not saying, like, oh, yeah, you know, early IN, man. What, I, what I'm saying is, like, he has improved so much, <laughs> so much, where it's, 
I don't even know how to uh, say it. Like, I, I've gone back and listened to all the Stray Kids in music now. And, I like, this I.N., Compared to the early Ian, it's like, dude, he has put in so much work, and it shows, uh, because the growth, like, he showed a ton of range in here, his, you know, going from that, you know, kind of, it was almost a lower range, like, that, he definitely, it definitely wasn't baritone or bass or anything like that, uh, but it was kind of that lower, not quite a gravel in the voice, but you know, it was down here, <laughs> but he could pop it right up, and it's just, it sounded really nice, like, one of the things that I really don't like in songs in which somebody shows a lot of range is when they're doing it to show off, you know, they pop go here, here, and it's just, like, all over the place, and it's like, oh, yeah, you're just showing off, you're just, uh, um, it, it doesn't sound good somehow. You know, it's being able to hit all of those different notes and you're not making it sound good. It's like, mm, <laughs> this sounded great. You know, this sounded fantastic. So very, very happy with that one. I would totally playlist that on like a slower, on my mellow playlist because it was, it was gorgeous. The piano accompaniment was very nice. I, I like when these slower songs are accompanied with just a nice piano put a little violin in there and it's awesome so yeah fan of this skiz record album bring it <laughs> all right like i said i will uh keep an eye on uh heyday lyrics and let me know if you guys found any lyric translations where like you're like yeah they actually got the translation on the, like the raps in particular good on these ones it doesn't sound weird <laughs> So let me know if you have good translations on that. I don't, I, I am seeing all over my feed, people are reacting to it. I don't, I do lyrics. <laughs> like, I, I do lyrics, I need lyrics, and I need good lyrics where I'm not going, what do they mean my shoelaces are split? Like, like, so, yeah, let me know. In the meantime, I am going to go make a path through my garage so that the pickers can get out there and bring out some boxes and all that fun stuff. Um, and I have audio that I need to proof today, I think. Yes, I do. I need to pick up the living room still for drywalling. Demolition first. With that, I am out. You all have yourselves a wonderful day.